Hey guys, it's Ben from Midi's Play Games. Today I'm giving you another deck profile. I'm giving you Black Trunks. Um, Black Trunks is a really neat deck. I really like his style. Kind of like with the Mirror deck, um, it kind of gives you the extra advantage that you really need for the early game and late game, especially with Blue, because the amount of like draw support and survivability that Blue has. So if you don't know Black Trunks, Black Trunks on this side, he um, when you attack, mill the top two of your deck, if there's a blue in your drop, so not if you just milled it, if there's a blue in your drop, um, you get to draw a card. So it's really strong, you know, setting up all your warp potential. Um, I really like the leader, and on the other side, um, you can, it's the same thing, but you can actually just choose to drop two if you want. Um, but when this card attacks, draw one card. Then you may choose uh, five cards in your drop area, send them to the warp, and if you do so, this game card gains 5k and double strike. He's an okay ender, but I haven't been using that ability off a lot. Mainly because it's he's just a black leader, who when he mills and if there's a blue card in the drop, he gets the draw. Um, that's mainly what I've been using him for, and yeah, that's about it. So, of course, we have to use for Supreme Kai, time, con uh, not continuity, world's protector. Um, there's no other 10k for this one, like, you know, with the other blue decks and all that, you can just use, like, uh, the blue one or this. Um, and this is, if you have five cards in the warp, you can use this and you gain 10k and you get your draw. So you can even do that if you're, like, six life or unawakened whatsoever. Playing four, boost attack, uh, energy boosted margin booze. Um, it's really strong, you know, being up the draw of turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. There's always a good time in the game to, like, get that extra draw off. Um, I'm using Returning Evil Golden Freezer as one of our beaters. Um, I really like this card. You know, it's just getting the two blue down that really matters and it's really hard to do. Because you don't have a lot of blue targets, but you kind of, like... This will probably be like one of your blues or maybe one of your blues will be in your energy. But if you don't need this card, uh, when you play this, choose one card on your side of the field, return it to hand, and then uh, return one of your opponent's uh, cards from their field to the bottom of their deck. So you, like, you get to reuse all your warp stuff that you've warped out for the turn, so you add it back to hand. It's really strong, 25k, double strike, very strong. Um, so for the earlier removal, we play Energy Boost uh, Beerus. Um, his double strike, if you have 5 energy, you get to pop something. Um, very strong, as I said, the only downside is just trying to get the 2 blue down. Um, of course we play 4 Whisper's Coercion, and we play 4 Sensu Bean. It's pretty much no ex explanation why we play those. Um, so we're going to the black. So this black stuff, it's really neat that you can be able to like warp everything out. Um, of course this one here doesn't warp, and that is um, Enroaching Threat Marseille. Um, I found that just being able to just play this with 3 mana, because if you have 7 or more cards in your warp, it gains, um, it gains, uh, 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 it costs 1 less, sorry. So, being able to just, like, swing down, like, their 20ks and all that, like, you can swing down Jirens with this, and, like, they have to, like, combo over it. It's really strong for 3 mana. Um, another one of our good beaters is Power Aura Mirror. Power Aura Mirror, um, you can warp him out, um, but usually you just want to, like, summon him. Because if you have 5 cards in your warp, he gains 5k. But if you have 10 cards, he gains another 5k. So it's a 25k beater, very strong for the deck. Um, I play 3 time patrol trunks, rather than playing it at 4. Just because you don't really want to draw out a lot. Um, so if you don't know this, when you play this card with warp, look at the top 2 of your deck, add 1 to hand, and place 1 at the top or the bottom of your deck. But you mainly don't play him at 4 just because you don't want to get him off a lot. Just because you are milling a lot, like I find that a lot of people just try and stall against black decks. Um, which is kind of what you want with this leader, but not getting all the extra draws. By putting him to 4, I found that I was just drawing a little bit too much, but that's okay. Um, we're playing Unrelenting Assault Trunks at 4. I still think this is one of the strongest warp cards, other than probably Destruction Mirror. So when you bring this card out onto the field with warp, it's a 3 warp, you can, um, at the end of the turn, you add it back to hand, off, um, like instead of going to the warp, very strong. I'm playing 1 power, um, Trunks power, over pressing time. Um, I don't, like I'm only playing 1. Like, with this leader, you can just choose, like, instead of drawing two when you flip, you actually just choose one card in your warp and add it to your hand. Like, I've found that just, like, adding this one card back by itself rather than just, like, 
playing it out it's just okay by itself um, and if you don't know this card you can overwhelm for four but it costs two has double strike 20k um, so you can, can kind of bring it out a little bit early but it doesn't matter too much but when you play this card with warp choose one of your battle cards and warp and add it to your hand um, the reason why I don't like it too much is because it says battle card there's not a lot of battle cards you do really want to add back to hand maybe like a boo or like something blue but just like because the amount of like versatility you have with the deck doesn't really matter too much but then one of the main reasons why you play this deck is because killer sword trunks killer sword trunks you can um, evolve it over one of your trunks it's four so you mainly want to use it over one of your time patrol trunks or your unrelenting um, good thing about this evolve it stays on the field if you evolve it over one of these um, and when it's 20k double strike just like the other one but this one is um, when you play this you get to play one card with three or less from your drop uh, from your warp to the field so mainly what you want to do is like mainly play these but if you want to get that extra drawing you can just get a brew out um, and yeah 20k double strike by itself is pretty strong um, I'm playing the Marseille line only playing two though um, these Marseilles like they're still one of the strongest removal in the game hands down um, so if you don't know this you can overall five and then uh, pay one mana and then when it comes into the field warp up to five so it pops all your tokens and everything very strong um, playing four awakened warrior bardock um, it's okay push him for game he's insane um, so you can overwhelm for four if you bring it up for overwhelm he gains double strike so you swing with him and um, like you'll go to the to the warp at the end but you're not using for that real reason why you're using him is because super saiyan 3 bardock power unleashed this is probably one of the strongest removals ever created the thing is that you can bring it out turn five if you're playing objection all that which we're not in this deck you don't need to um so yeah bring this out turn five you evolve it over this so this will go to the warp just like these do um and it has triple strike but when you play this with the evolve you get to uh, add five cards from your warp to your drop which doesn't matter too much but if you really think about it you can go into like extra warp for the next turn rather than just using ability um but you warp all your opponent's field so if they don't like if you're playing like mecha freeze and they've gone through all their cold bloodlusts this will just go straight through that and warp their entire field it doesn't choose so it just warps everything and being able to just like play that and just like swing for game just putting literally everything into it more than likely you will finish the game and yeah that's it for the deck profile um i found playing this it, it is a little bit awkward but once you get the ball rolling a little bit like uh, like after turn four you pretty much have game just because of the amount of draw support you have being able to like swing with leader and draw being able to like utilize as much blue as you want and like reusing everything and yeah that's it for the deck profile um hope you guys enjoy this one you know it's another black deck i love these black decks that are out right now and that's for the video all right see you guys in the next one <laughs>